Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'm bringing you another What Sold Weekend Edition. So this is what sold for me from Friday afternoon, evening, until whenever I film this. And this happens to be Sunday evening. So let's get started. I will insert photos right here so you guys can see the items that I'm talking about. I will do my best to remember what I paid for the item but I don't always remember. I basically have a list it and forget it kind of store. It's a lot of items are long tail. I don't always remember exactly what I paid for it. Now that's not to say that it's not accounted for. I do, when I purchase items, I do put that into my bookkeeping program. So don't you guys worry about that. I know I've had some comments before. So anyway, like I said, I will do my best and I usually have a general idea even if I don't have an exact idea or an exact number for you. Anyway, let's just get started. Also, for those of you who don't know, I sell on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. eBay is my main platform, so that is generally where I have the most sales. Now, this weekend, I did not have any Etsy sales. I did have quite a bit throughout the week last week, but I had none this weekend. So let's get started here. Poshmark, I had one, and that is a pair of brochure that was, that was what they were called, the style name, I should say. They were aerosols. Aerosols, brochure, chambray denim, wedge heel, peep toe shoes. These sold for $20. And those, I believe I paid about two or 250 for. All right, now moving over to eBay. The first thing I sold was a pair of Ipanema Brazil Odette black woven leather loafers shoes. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. When I say plus shipping, that means the buyer paid shipping on top of the purchase price. So these, I believe I purchased for about two dollars 250 maybe i'm not quite remembering this one and uh yeah okay next item i am super excited about i just showed this to you guys a couple days ago in one of my haul videos let me just show you okay this is a liz tech jewelry pin brooch sparkle tree christmas holiday signed 2018 retired liz tech is amazing okay so this is a designer who is local to me and she used to have a shop a store and it is no longer they shut their doors I believe in 2017 but she did continue to make some jewelry just on a much smaller scale um, kind of more more hobby like or whatever. Um, I was reading up on her and apparently her husband was like the business mind of everything and she was just the artist, the creator. And after he had died, she really did not have a lot of interest in running the business. She just liked to create. She did still keep it open for a while. Uh, I believe it was 20 years that, that this business was operating. So anyway, this was made I believe after the, the doors closed at Liz Tech, and this is just one of, I'm not even sure where this might have been sold, honestly, uh, maybe like a private craft thing or something like that. I'm really not sure. I'm not, I'm not real clear on where she sold her items after. Um, and I don't know if she's still doing it today, but anyhow, I paid 25 cents. 25 cents for this and I listed it for 125 I'm telling you these pins go for really good money there are serious collectors for these pins so I listed it for 125 and not even 24 hours later I took a best offer of $101 I was getting quite a few different offers some of them were a little bit lower and I just I knew it was gonna sell for more so then I got this offer for $101 and I took it. That was fabulous. 
that was just an amazing sale. So super stoked about that. All right. Now, also, uh, for those of you who don't know, Liz Tech always has the, the mirror kind of like background. So that's one way to recognize it. And another way is her pieces will always be signed and dated. Okay, moving on. Next, I sold quite a bit of flatware. I sold it all to the same woman. Uh, like I said before, I do part out my flatware. Some people do want more than one piece, but I find in most cases, people want it just to replace, you know, a few pieces or one piece or two pieces or whatever. Anyway, this woman actually wanted quite a bit of it. So she purchased four Imperial IMI 56. That was that was the pattern name or number or code that I found on replacements.com because I couldn't find an exact pattern name for this. And usually replacements, that's what they do. If they cannot find the pattern name, they just kind of make up their own using their own inventory code for it. They give it a pattern name basically. And I will still use theirs because some people who shop on replacements uh, are also looking on eBay or other places for it and they will use that same code to search for it, if that makes sense. So anyway, I sold the dinner knives, a uh, set of four for $13.95 and that was free shipping. I had free shipping on these. And then she also bought four of the Place Opal Soup Spoons in this pattern for $14.95 with free shipping. She bought five of the teaspoons for $19.99 with free shipping. She bought four of the teaspoons for $16.95 with free shipping. And then she sent me a message asking me if she could get a discount on the serving spoon because she did purchase all the other items. I think I had this listed for maybe 13 and I just sent her an offer for $4 with free shipping because it's all going to go together. I'm going to end up wrapping it all together and sending it off in a priority padded flat rate envelope. So next item I sold an apartment nine woman pink multi button down two pocket long sleeve shirt size one X. I sold this for $18.99 plus shipping. And how much did I, I didn't tell you about how much I paid for the flatware, the flatware. Honestly, I don't remember, but I think it was probably, uh, probably under $5 for that, for that set. Uh, and then the apartment nine top, I would say that was probably under four. I honestly am not remembering that either. I, I can definitely tell you it was no more than four and it was probably about two fifty. Um, all right. So then the next thing that sold is a pair of, uh, women's Brooks silver blue adrenaline GTS, 16 running shoes, size 10 wide. These sold for $34.99 plus shipping. These were a recent pickup. I believe they came out of one of my rummage sales. And I want to say I paid $3 for these. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's just what's sticking out in my mind. Okay. Next item is a pair of women's Tom's Del Rey burgundy wash canvas shoes, sneakers, size 10. I paid $4 for these at the thrift store a couple months ago and they sold for $27.99 plus shipping. I do remember those because they were not even put out yet. They were on the little cart that this particular thrift store uses and on that cart there's always signs, do not shop this. Like you're technically not supposed to take items off of there or the clothing racks until that stuff is actually put out on the racks or on the, the shoe rack or whatever. And I remember asking the employee, I'm like, can I just take these? And he was like, oh yeah, just go ahead. So <laughs> that's why I really remember those. All right. So next item is a Lauren Conrad pretty in pleats, blue multi-floral uh, skirt. This is, this is uh, like a Kohl's item. Basically, I believe it was new with tags. Maybe not. Let me check. Yes, I thought that was new. I thought that was new with tags. All right, so that sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Now, that took a little while to sell, which I was really surprised because I thought that was such a cute skirt. 
Uh, I probably paid a couple dollars for it, but I'm honestly not remembering at the moment because like I said, it was listed for a while. Next item is uh, La Creuset Stoneware Salt and Pepper Shakers, uh, Ombre Ocean Teal. I have question marks because I wasn't quite sure of the color. I tried to look it up and I couldn't quite tell which one these were considered. So I put both and did a little question mark. All right, so I sold those for $14.99 plus shipping. I paid $2 for that set. I, I remember buying those at a community sale over in New Jersey, probably mid to late summer, and I did not list them for a while. <laughs> they sat in my my money pile, and uh, but now I, they've been listed a couple months, so I'm glad they finally sold. They had a ton of watchers. All right, so next item I sold a pair of JBU Jambu Pilot Brown Memory Foam Ankle Boots, size 7 medium, new without box. They still had tags on. I paid $10 for these and they sold for $47.99. I purchased these from one of my local thrifts that partners with a popular online retailer and they get a lot of their overstock and stuff like that. So that is where I bought those. I actually haven't been there in a while should go check that place out one of these days all right so next items also now all three of those are going to the same buyer the boots and now these two these two items that I'm going to show you next okay next item is a Talbot's T active white black stripe drawstring hem top uh, that sold for I'm trying to see because it's grouped it's grouped together that sold for $17.99 plus shipping and then she also purchased a White House Black Market blue striped asymmetrical sleeveless top. And that sold for $18.99. And then, of course, I will combine shipping for her on all of those items. All right, next. Oh, and the price for the tops. Probably a couple dollars a piece. Not quite remembering. Uh, I usually don't ever spend over like $4 for a shirt, honestly. And yeah, I just, I don't. Okay. So anyway, next item is a LuLaRoe Patrick Heather Blue High Low T tunic size 2XL. I have another one available, but I sold one of them. I sold it for $22.99 plus shipping and I paid $2 for this. A few months ago when I, I went to a few different local thrift stores over in New Jersey I know I did I did film that it is one of my in one of my videos and all of their LuLaRoe stuff was 75% maybe I paid 250 because I think every I think it was 75% off 80% off I, I paid now I can't remember, but it's in that video. I paid either two or two fifty per piece for for these. So yeah. Right, next item is a long duster cardigan <clears throat> sweater with a faux fur trim and hood, multi print size XL. This I showed in one of my haul videos. I paid five dollars for this. I was kind of goofing around and I tried it on. Really, really, really nice cardigan. Like, just it was just beautiful. It was unbranded but it had a really nice quality feel to it. And like I said, just a really, really nice piece. Really loved it. Finally got it listed <laughs> in like the middle of spring here, almost summer. Finally got it listed and it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next item is a LuLaRoe gray, purple, pink, floral, geometric maxi skirt, size XL, new with tags. This sold for $22.99 plus, plus shipping. Now this, I can't remember which lot of LuLaRoe this came out of because I, I purchased a couple different lots of LuLaRoe at different times, but it was probably just a couple dollars. All right, next is a pair of bionic amelia black wedge mary jane heels size seven i think i got these at at a church sale i believe that was the day if you guys have watched 
my haul videos, if you've been following me for a while here, um, I went to two sales at once, both I had never been to. These were at the second sale and I had no idea how much stuff was priced for. But I think they ended up being $2, maybe a dollar. Very, very, very reasonable. So anyway, they sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of men's Aldo Malmore. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that style name. Uh, green suede driving moccasins. These are size 11. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I believe I paid $4.50 or $5 for these at the thrift store a few months ago. Next item I sold is a Soma Beige Nude Floral Stunning Support Full Coverage Bra, size 40G. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a pre-owned bra. It's not new with tags. Uh, Soma is a pretty good brand to sell, and the bigger, the better. This, I probably paid under $3 for. I just, I can't remember where this particular one came from. I did pick up a few at the bins back in November. I don't think that this is one of them though. I don't know, but if I did pick it up at the bins, it was just definitely under a dollar, but it may have been purchased somewhere else. Okay, next item is a 2010 Hasbro Baby Alive first new teeth doll, brunette, brown hair, drinks and wets. This sold for $27.99 plus shipping and I paid $1 for it. And it doesn't have, you know, like any compatible bottle or food or anything like that. It's just the doll with what she's wearing. So sometimes Baby Alive's will take a while to sell. I definitely think I had this listed for like at least five, six months, but they always do sell. All right, next item is uh, an Etienne Agne, I believe that's how it's pronounced, columns, pillars, architecture, 100% silk necktie. This sold for $19.95 plus shipping. This I definitely had for a little while. Uh, I can tell by the background, uh, but I probably didn't pay a whole lot for it. And I would definitely say under $2. And if I got it at the bins, even cheaper, there was a lot, there was a time where I was, I found a lot of ties at the bin. So they were probably like 10 cents a piece. I'm not sure if this came from there though. Uh, like I said, because it was a while ago. I don't pick up ties too often anymore. For a while, I used to pick them up a lot. And now I will only pick them up if it is somewhere like the bins and I'm getting them for just a couple cents because they take, a lot of times they take a while to sell, but they do sell. They definitely take a while though. All right, next item is a pair of Susan Graver Black Lustre Knit regular pull-on angle pants, size medium. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. <sighs> Let me look here. Yes, I thought they were recent. These were a recent, I believe, thrift store pickup. I could be wrong though. I think I paid about $2.50 for these. Next item is a Maeve by Anthropology Periwinkle Blue Cap Sleeve Keyhole Neck Top Shirt, size extra small. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I believe that I paid $3 for this. I think that this came out of the, the lot that was in one of my yard sale haul videos where I filled up like this whole bin for, I think, well, actually he wanted $3 a piece for the items, which ended up being like over a hundred and I ended up giving him 80. So I probably paid under $3 for the shirt. If in fact it came out of that lot and I think that it did, I don't know. All right, next item is a Disney Winnie the Pooh Eeyore white blue 16 ounce coffee mug cup. This I probably paid $2 or under four and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. The buyer paid. So that's it. That wraps up what sold for me so far this weekend. Like I said, it's Sunday evening. So I still have the rest of tonight and overnight and We'll see how that goes, but it's been a pretty good weekend so far. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know how your sales were this weekend. If you are a reseller, uh, if not, just say hi. 
And uh, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.